the youngest child in a large family is often loved more than others, pampering him and forgiving pranks. The smallest model in the Volvo range was also not deprived of the caresses of the designers. She received from them not only all the most advanced technical solutions, but also innate reliability. The car is based on the larger S40 model, which, in turn, shared a platform with the Ford Focus 2 and Mazda 3. Formally, this is a three-door hatchback, although the manufacturer positions the car as a coupe, giving it the corresponding C index, and the number 30 in this case indicates that the model is a step below the S40. By and large, the small Volvo has combined these two concepts. It is endowed with a stylish and dynamic silhouette, as befits a sports coupe, as well as practical and roomy, like a regular hatchback. But such cars for the most part are not intended for true fans of sports cars, but for those who want to look like such. And Volvo SCO is the best proof of this. On the one hand, it does not differ in sports driving performance, even if it is a charged version of the T5. On the other hand, the car has only two rear seats, although the common sofa could well accommodate three. And this is a hint of sportiness. In terms of the width of the engine range, Volvo SCO is not inferior to its older brothers. In its arsenal, gasoline four-cylinder engines 1.6L, 100 horsepower, 1.8L, 125 horsepower, and 2.0L, 145 horsepower, as well as five with a volume of 2.4 liters, 170 horsepower, and 2.5 liter turbocharged recoil, 220 horsepower. There were also turbo diesels 1.6L, 109 horsepower, 2 liter, 136 horsepower, and 5 cylinder 2.4L, 163 and 180 horsepower. Diesel versions are extremely rare. Gearboxes, 5 and 6 speed manual, as well as a 5 band automatic. In the Volvo SCO cabin, the differences from the S40 slash B50 are minimal and concern mainly the second row of seats. The rear sofa is tailored exclusively for two, and, it should be noted, they feel quite at ease there. Unless those who are tall will prop their heads up the ceiling of a steeply sloping roof. Thanks to the wide doors and the large range of movement of the front seats, getting into the second row is not difficult. In addition, top versions have electric keys located on the upper ends of the backs of the driver's and front passenger seats, which significantly facilitate the process of entry and exit. As for the equipment, you are guaranteed to get a used SCO with ABS with brake force distribution along the axles, DSTC dynamic stabilization system and traction control, air conditioning, a full set of airbags, electric windows, and heated mirrors. In the secondary market, you can often find specimens with alloy wheels and climate control. Options with five-cylinder engines will most likely be with the gun. Despite its compactness, Volvo SCO is not only not inferior in reliability to its older counterparts, but often surpasses them. For example, all the main units and chassis parts are borrowed from the S40, but the SCO is noticeably lighter, and therefore the service life of many of its components and chassis elements is higher. For cylinder engines borrowed from the Ford Arsenal, they are considered quite reliable and durable. The timing drive uses a chain whose service life is more than 250,000 kilometers. On these motors, you should carefully monitor the serviceability of the spark plugs, since interruptions in sparking disable high voltage wires and ignition coils. And if you drive for a long time with flickering candles, you can disable the converter and get big money. The cost of its replacement is from 28,000 rubles. Some gray dealers offer to dismantle the catalysts altogether. In principle, you can drive without them, but then the car will constantly shine with the check engine control light, check engine. Due to bad gasoline, the fuel pump often breaks down. It is assembled with a filter, the mesh of which is clogged with impurities in the fuel, sharply reducing throughput. Recovery will require more than 15,000 rubles. For parts and labor, our five engines are also reliable, despite the presence of a timing belt that changes after 120,000 kilometers. Atmospheric 2.4 liters is generally indestructible and it is recommended not to turn off the 2.5-liter turbo engine immediately after stopping, letting it idle for a minute or two. Also, after 30,000 kilometers, the main elements of the power supply and injection system should be flushed, nozzles, throttle valves, and solenoids of the CWT valve timing mechanism. Mechanical boxes are generally hassle-free. The greatest attention when buying a used SCO should be given to the machine. If you feel strong jerks and twitches while driving, it is better to refuse the purchase. However, 
the malfunction may lie in a failed hydro module, the replacement of which will cost 35,000 to 45,000 rubles. In an independent suspension, the weak point is the bearings, which change as an assembly with the hub, which will cost about 15,000 rubles. When turning the steering wheel, the upper shock strut mounts often make themselves felt with creaks. Replacement, 7,500 rubles. The power steering pump high pressure pipe is leaking. For 4,500 rubles, all tubes are changed. Body. Over time, the fastenings of the door opening limiter become loose, which are long and heavy in the SCO. If closing is accompanied by a knock, you will have to tighten the limiter bolts, since this is worth a penny. The rear suspension usually does not bother with breakdowns. However, after the milestone of 100,000 kilometers, it may be necessary to replace the silent blocks of the levers and stabilizer struts from 1,300 rubles apiece. Shock absorbers from 2,500 rubles are often efficient even after 150,000 kilometers. In the front suspension, due to premature wear of the hydraulic silent block, it becomes necessary to change the ball joint together with the lever. These parts are a single hole. This will result in more than 10,000 rubles. For one side. Officially, we only sold petrol modifications of SCO engines, so there may be problems when servicing turbo diesels. On the oldest specimens, which were operated only on Russian roads, radiator banks are oxidized from dirt and anti-icing reagents. Their replacement costs 12,000 rubles. In a mechanical box, drive seals sweat, and the left one wears out earlier. The part is inexpensive, and they will take no more than 2,800 rubles for work. Seal leakage should alert the owner, since the oil level in the box is rapidly decreasing. This leads to repair or even replacement of the MCP.